We are about to get started, so if you can find your nearest seat. Family, friends, colleagues, and community members, it is my pleasure to welcome you tonight to celebrate the students who have earned the honor of graduating. A couple of housekeeping items before we begin. Please clear the aisles so the processional can make their way down. Um, there's live streaming and additional seating in the community room in the back. There are restroom facilities to the right of the stage. We invite you to take photos and videos throughout the ceremony. Kindly silence your phones and clear the aisles at this time. And please stand for the processional as we honor our graduates. remain standing as Dr. Dina Campbell, Professor of Biv Business and Information Technology, leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
You may now be seated. At this time, I would like to recognize the Eastern Sierra College Center faculty and staff for their hard work and dedication on behalf of our students. Please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. Thank you to the Saracosa College uh, Community College Administration for support and guidance on behalf of our students. Please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. Thank you to the Eastern Sierra Chamber Orchestra for providing music for this ceremony. Please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce Saracoso Community College President Dr. Sean Hancock for the President's Address. So honored to be here with you today. So good evening, Saracosa graduates, and congratulations. You've reached the end of an important journey, one that I hope you will always look back on with fondness and pride. Now, as you complete one journey, you embark on the next one. Some of you know exactly where those steps are going to take you, and you'll make it there. Some of you have a plan for those steps, but will find yourselves taking unexpected detours along the way. Some of you may not have any idea where those steps will take you and are prepared to see where life takes you. Wherever your journey takes you, I'm proud of you for the steps you've taken so far, proud of the work you've put in to reach this milestone, and proud knowing more than 40 students here will hear their names called tonight. As you wait to hear your names read, take a moment to breathe and reflect. You succeeded, you set a goal, and you accomplished it. You passed the tests, you finished the papers, you overcame obstacles to make sure you made it to this day. For many of you, those obstacles included nearly 60 feet of snow. <laughs> As you reflect on your success, take a moment to look around the room. You're surrounded by family, friends, faculty, staff, and all the people who were there to help you along the way. All of them invested in your success. I know they feel the same immense pride that I do, I do as they see where you are now. But it's important to remember that this institution does not exist without support from the people who live here. Your community is, has invested in your success. Your community has supported our programs and growth. Your community has sent their children to Saracosa for nearly 20 years to learn, grow, and take those steps into the world. I encourage you all to show gratitude and find ways to give back. Be active, be engaged, be a part of the community you live in, wherever that may be. Remember that communities exist because people care. We all have our stories, we've all taken our individual steps, and it takes an understanding of and an empathy for those individual journeys in order to come together. So take time to meet people, talk to them, learn about them, understand who they are, and the steps they've taken to get where they are. Take time to uplift them, support them on their journey, as so many people have supported you. Be a pillar that people can rely on, just as others have been pillars for you. Help them strengthen their foundations so they can stand strong with you and create new pillars in your community. Know that knowledge is power. Knowledge opens doors, provides you with choices. So, of course, I have to share my favorite quote from my favorite doctor, Dr. Seuss. It's titled, Oh, the Places You'll Go. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, 
You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the one who will decide where to go. Last but not least, never forget, you are part of the Saracoso family. Forever a coyote. Thank you. Okay, so at this time, I would like to recognize the Saracosa Community College Foundation President's Award recipient for the Eastern Sierra College Center. These graduate students are earning a degree with a cumulative 4.0 grade point average, a tremendous achievement. Ashley Baronda Ayala, Jessica Dahl, and Mark Nakano, please come up and receive your award. It is my great honor to introduce our first student speaker, Madeline Bigham. As you may suspect, Madeline is an exemplary student, well deserving of her place on the podium tonight. An extremely ambitious and inquisitive individual, Madeline tested out of high school at 16 and began her studies at Saracoso. She graduates today at only 18 years old as an English major and will be transferring to UNR in the fall to pursue a degree in public health and nursing. While working toward her AA degree, she also managed to hold down two jobs and cites her parents, family, and boyfriend as her biggest supporters. While I could go on about her academic accomplishments, I feel it is important to honor her accomplishments as an individual. When Madeline took my public speaking class last fall, I was struck by her kindness, positivity, willingness to help others, and her warm acceptance of the thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and identities of her classmates, even when they differed markedly from her own. The camaraderie of the Scooby-Doo crew in that particular class is one I will remember for many years to come. In addition to her kind and open nature, there is one word that came to mind most strongly when I was trying to think about what to say about Madeline today, and it was courage. Madeline does not shy away from her convictions, from her dedication to kindness, from her commitment to acceptance. She was not afraid to tackle controversial issues in our speech class, and I highly doubt there is much that she cannot face. As she stated in our first speech from last semester, you are who you have always been. The world will try to tell you differently, but remember your identity. I have no doubt that she will continue to be unapologetically herself and that the world will be a better place for it. It is my pleasure to welcome to the stage, Madeline. Welcome guys, we did it, we graduated. So my speech is on the unexpected. Have you ever been surprised by the unexpected? Whether it's a new drink on the menu of your favorite coffee shop, a surprising love for fitness, or even the beauty of an unexpected pregnancy, life is full of the unexpected. Some of it's good and some of it's bad but I've learned how God has used all of the ups and downs to weave my life into the beautiful gift that it has been. I'm here today to tell you how Saracosa wound up being an invaluable and unexpected blessing in my story and to reflect on the incredible opportunities that this school has given to me over the last two years. I entered Saracosa at 16, grappling with the COVID-19 pandemic, which had wreaked absolute havoc on the education system at my school. 
leading me to test out the summer after my junior year. And now I stand before you, 18 years old, with an associate's degree in English and one in liberal arts. For those of you who don't know me, I'm pretty much a standard student. I work hard in school and at my jobs. I attend my church and I love my family very much. Therefore, I am incredibly humbled and grateful to have this opportunity to speak to you all from this platform. Now, the pandemic essentially destroyed my previous plan to go straight to a four-year school, leading me to a crossroads that I was completely lost for a next step. From that point, I needed an attainable education and a reasonable next step as I was only 16 years old and not ready to move out. Saracoso became that perfect option for me. And now after two years of maturing into an adult, I can step into the world ready to face the unexpected armed with the education I've gained here. I remember the announcement on March 11, 2020, stating that my high school would shut down for two weeks for something called the coronavirus. And we were waiting for it to get under control. Out of nowhere, after that announcement, the world as I knew it changed. Those two weeks of an extra long spring break turned into two months and then into two years. Only then did we begin to see a return to life as it had been pre-COVID. However, in that time, which was my sophomore year of high school, everything fell into a state of disarray. Classes were on something called Zoom and weren't mandatory for the rest of my sophomore school year. Even in the following school year, Classes were on Zoom every other day, and when I was in person, I was encouraged strongly to stay six feet away from my schoolmates, which led, which led to a lot of disconnection. All of my notions for the future seemed really muggy, and uh, it was kind of ludicrous the way that my high school was being handled at that point, but I mean, it's understandable. None of us really knew what we were doing. As that time went on, and COVID restrictions loosened, the high school I attended still ret retained that scrambling attitude to the point where I didn't feel like I was learning anything. I felt that I was putting in no effort and not earning my grades at that point. I really felt God put it on my heart to leave my school. And so I told my mom that I wanted to try and test out of the next year. She was incredibly supportive of that notion and helped me research the best way to go about the process. We settled on the California High School Proficiency Exam as my ticket out of the system. Now that I had taken that exam and left my high school, I'd come to a point where the world was looking huge and intimidating. I was not prepared to enter into it as an adult yet. Saracoso has allowed me to acquire my general education requirements and ultimately two associate's degrees via in-person and online courses, depending on what fit my busy schedule. The school allowed me to grow up and gain a college education even before I was ready to move out and away to a larger university. I was able to live at home and spend precious moments with my family and save for future costs. As somebody who gradually increased my workload from in-person school and one job to working two jobs and attending school online, it was an absolute blessing to have Saracoso in my life. A large university as a high school student was, wasn't really a possibility, especially as I had unexpectedly gone from being a high school junior to a graduate in one day. I truly believe that God gave me this time here at Saracoso to teach me how to function in the real world on a much less intense scale. He opened the door for me to attain a quality education when my family with, and spend time with my family for two more years after I had graduated high school. This was a, a, an extremely valuable experience that will help me get a good job in the future. So even though all of this came about unexpectedly, as many things in life do, it worked out so much better than I could have ever imagined. God is greater than the highs and the lows, and he is aware of the unexpected. And he promises to carry me through them as a result of my faith. So the next time that something comes out of left field, maybe God will use it to grow you and to make your story that much more beautiful. Thank you. I would like to introduce Saracosa Community College Vice President of Instruction, Dr. Corey Marvin, for the recognition of honor students. Thank you. It is my privilege tonight to recognize our honor graduates, students who have an outstanding academic performance of a cumulative 3.75. 
GPA and associate degree classes are designated as honored graduates. The Academic Senate of Sarah Coastal Community College has provided the medallions that they are wearing tonight. Honors graduates, please rise as I call your name and remain standing. Benjamin Adkins. <laughs> Ashley Barunda Ayala. <laughs> Donna Sasania Fernandez. Jessica Dahl. <laughs> Stephen Fraser. <laughs> Erica Lynch. <laughs> Marcos Manriquez. <laughs> Mark McConnell. Natalie Partridge. And Chloe Wilson. All right, congratulations to all. Let's give them another round of applause. All right, let me I would like to welcome to the stage Dr. Trina Toby for the introduction of our next student speaker. Hi, I'm Trina Toby, and I'm the Access Counselor here in Bishop and Mammoth. And I'd like to congratulate all of you today. I'm very proud of you. Um, and. I am very honored to introduce Jessica today. So Jessica Dahl is graduate, graduating with a transfer degree in psychology, and she plans to attend UC Riverside and to pursue her bachelor's degree in psychology. I've had the pleasure of being her counselor for the last year and a half, but she really didn't need me. She is very on top of it, she um, was able to figure everything out even through the chaos of COVID when she started. She has excellent time management and organization skills. When I met her, she had a 4.0 and she still does. From the beginning, she attended and participated in workshops and outreach events. And I noticed during those um, events that she was very open and not judgmental with her peers and puts them at ease. She is excellent at networking and connecting students with resources. And Jessica is a Paiute, Shoshone, and Yurok, and she takes pride in her cultural heritage. This makes her a role model for all students, but especially for other Native American students. During her time here, she's impressed instructors and staff. She was asked to be an English tutor in her second semester, and she's been an English tutor for a year and a half. And then she was asked to be a peer mentor in her second year. So she's been a peer mentor and a tutor this year. Her supervisor, Anna Mora, described her as positive, optimistic, having a poised demeanor, and demonstrating positive communication skills and respect for others. She said Jessica has effectively provided her peers with guidance, a supportive network, and connections to campus resources. Anna reported that she has observed other peer mentors turn to Jessica for guidance. Jessica is like the peer mentor for peer mentors. She was also described by one of her instructors as the best student in her class. And she spoke at the Saracoso staff convening and I overheard several staff saying what a wonderful job she did. She was noticed by one of our counselors here and asked to speak today. So I would like you to join me in welcoming, welcoming and congratulating Jessica Dahl. Thank you so 
much. That was really sweet. <laughs> okay. Monahu Ayakui. Hello, students, staff, faculty, friends, and family. I'd like to start off with a congratulations to my fellow graduates of Saracoso Community College for all of your hard work and all of your dedication to get to this moment. Pat yourselves on the back, it's very well deserved. <laughs> Something that I've learned as a student here was to always remind myself, ahugawe amaku vinotogu, walk forward. My life is anything but perfect, but telling myself this reminds me that I can do anything that I set my mind to. I was not just a student, I was also a daughter to rely on, a cousin to help babysit, a caretaker, a role model for my sister, a teacher, and a guide for others. But through all of my experiences, I have learned all of my strengths and my weaknesses. Like me, college students also go through various obstacles, and it may, whether this may be finding a balance, finding ourselves, or finding anything in between. Our journeys are all different, but in our strengths and consistency and determination, we are all alike. I admire you all for your commitment to persevere through your obstacles to get to this moment. I applaud you all for your devotion to your academics. You guys are all the embodiment of success. As you continue your new chapter in your life, don't forget the lessons that you have learned along the way. And always remember, ahugawe amaku vinotogu, walk forward. With that being said, I'd also like to thank the Saracoso Community College staff and faculty that I've gotten to know along the way. I've, I'd like to thank you all for your dedication to getting us here. Your insightful knowledge will carry with me and many others as we begin a new chapter in our lives. Thank you for always pushing us to achieve more for ourselves. Your sacrifices definitely don't go unnoticed. For all of that, ahugawe amaku vinotogu, walk forward. This takes me to my next point, my family and my friends. Thank you to my friends and family for being here to celebrate with me today and to thank you for all of the other friends and families and esteemed guests to be able to be here to celebrate with all of us tonight. I wouldn't be standing here in front of you all had it not been for the love and support of my family. I know life wasn't easy for us. We had our good days, our bad days, and sometimes it felt like the universe was out to get us. But your endless love and guidance brought us to this moment. Mom and dad, I admire your strength and compassion Thank you for giving me the strength and passion to be here today. Mom, dad, and other guests who came to support us, always remember, ahugawe amaku vinotogu, walk forward. We go through life differently. Some, some are employees, some are employers. Some of us are, par are parents and caretakers, and some of us are students. But being here, I can look at you all and proudly say that we all share one thing in common, our determination. Thank you staff and faculty for pushing us. Thank you friends and family for coming out and congratulations to the class of 2023. I wish you all the best of luck on your future endeavors. And with that said, ahugawe amaku vinotogu, walk forward. Jessica. At this time, I would like to introduce Betsy Truex and Elizabeth Root of the Mammoth Lakes Foundation. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Root. I'm the scholarship coordinator at the Mammoth Lakes Foundation. Uh, I have the incredible honor of working one-on-one -on -one with these exceptional Dave scholars. Um, 
these seven Dave scholars earned 12 certificates between all of them and degrees, and I am so grateful to work with them um, with the support of the Saraposo staff and board. So I'd like to recognize Alexa Cruz, Amy Godinez, Merton Morgan, Brett Rule Davis, Christopher Galvin Villanueva, Lizzie Trujillo, and David Young. Good evening, my name is Betsy Truex. I'm the executive director of the Mammoth Lakes Foundation. On behalf of our board and our donors, congratulations to all of the graduates. I'm especially honored and proud of our Dave Scholars. It's been a privilege to get to know all of you and to watch and see you grow along your academic journey. I am humbled to announce our transfer scholarship recipient this evening. This award grants $10,000 per year for tuition for up to two years for a student completing their four-year degree. The awardee is selected through a competitive process and the recipient must be an outstanding Dave Scholar. This year's recipient is truly a leader among his peers and in his workplace, and we look forward to supporting him as he continues his studies at UNR. Congratulations to Brett Rule Davis. At this time, I would like to introduce Jeff Griffiths of the Eastern Sierra Foundation. Good evening. Eastern Sierra Foundation was instrumental in the building of the building that we're all sitting in right now. And since that time, we've been giving out full tuition and book scholarships to anyone who wants to go full time to the Bishop campus of the Saracosa Community College. We also give out GASC scholarships and um, support various functions throughout the college. At this point, we have given out over one and a quarter million dollars in scholarships to local residents. Many of those sitting before us have taken advantage of that scholarship, and we want to offer our heartiest congratulations and best of luck in the future, and ask you later on when you're successful in life to think about paying it back and supporting others that are searching for an education. Thank you.
this time, I would like to introduce Saracoso Community College Vice President of Student Services, Heather Ostash, for the presentation of degrees and certificates. All right, the moment that we have all been waiting for is here. Tonight, we are awarding degrees and certificates to graduation candidates who have attended classes in the Saracoso service areas of Inyo and Mono County. Will the class of 2023 please stand? <laughs> President Hancock, Vice President Marvin, and Vice President Houck, please stand. Will all Saracoso faculty and staff please stand? President Hancock, Vice President Marvin, and Vice President Houck, I have the honor of presenting you to these students who have fulfilled the requirements for the Associate in Arts degree, the Associate in Science degree, or Certificate Achievement, and are recommended by the esteemed faculty of Saracoso Community College for the conferring of their respective degrees and certificates. Class of 2023, please remain standing for the acceptance of your diploma. Esteemed faculty and staff, please be seated. Vice President Marvin, Vice President Ostash, and Vice President Houck, please join me to confer the degrees. By virtue of the authority granted by the trustees of Kern Community College District and Saracoso Community College, I am privileged to confer upon each of you the Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Science degree, or Certificate of Achievement with the attendant rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As I announce each of these graduates' names, please put your hands together and feel free to give it up for each and every one of these deserving graduates. Well, the graduates in the first row, please go to your right and make your way around the back of the stage. The rest of the graduates, please be seated at this time so that your family and friends can see. Ashley Apodaca Ontiveros. <laughs> Liberal Arts, Arts Humanities, and Social Sciences. After graduation, Ashley plans to get um, her contractor's license. And she would like to thank her family and the Mammoth Lakes Foundation. <laughs> Mark McConnell. Associate of Information Technology and Certificates in Information Technology and Technology Plus. Plans after graduation are to attend Purdue University and major in computer science. He would like to thank each and every person he has ever interacted with. <laughs> Kate Cameron Moxley. Liberal Arts degree in Social Sciences and Math and Science. After graduation, plans to attend the University of Hawaii with a Marine Corps scholarship. Would like to thank her family and friends. <laughs> Elizabeth Quesada. <laughs> Associate of Arts degree in Social Sciences. 
plans to transfer and travel um, after graduation. She would like to thank Sarah at the front desk and all of her teachers for their help and encouragement, her family, her husband, for believing in her. Marcos Manriquez. Associate of Arts degree in Social Sciences. Plans to transfer to a four-year and then major in psychology. We would like to thank the Eastern Sierra Foundation, mom and dad, Daniela, um, and for their patient support, and his wife, and all the teachers and faculty. <laughs> Dakota Reynolds. <laughs> Transfer degree in mathematics, as well as a liberal arts degree in math and science. After graduation, she'll be transferring to the University of Nevada Wolfpack. <clears throat> She would like to thank the Eastern Sierra Foundation, family and friends, and most importantly, mom, for being her rock. <laughs> Jessica Punizzi Dahl. So she have arts degree in social sciences, and as well as a transfer degree in psychology. She will be transferring to the University of California at Riverside to study psychology and Native American studies. She would like to thank faculty, mom, dad, sister, high school sweetheart, and friends for the love and support. <laughs> Madeline Bigum. Associate of Arts degree in Arts Humanities, as well as a transfer degree in English. She will also be transferring to the University of Nevada Wolfpack to be studying nursing. I'd like to thank her mother, father, for their unfailing support, and her boyfriend, Peyton, for always cheering her on. <laughs> Samantha, so cool. Uh, Associate of Arts degree in Social Sciences. She will be transferring to the University of, I'm sorry, she's not going to be transferring because she's still a high school student, but she will be going to the University of California at Davis majoring in human development. Uh, she would like to thank uh, her mom, dad, sister, and friends. So cool. <laughs> Haley Calvert. Transfer degree in psychology, liberal arts, social sciences. She will be attending uh, the University of Tulane. She would like to thank her family, friends, and especially her mom. <laughs> Chloe Wilson. <laughs> Transfer degree in psychology, liberal arts, social sciences, as well as arts humanities. She will also be attending the University of California at Davis. She would like to thank her family and friends. <laughs> Tessa Adler. Associate of Arts degree in Arts Humanities as well as Social and Behavioral Sciences. She will be attending the University of California at Santa Cruz, majoring in Political Science and Marketing. I uh, would like to thank her family, friends, for supporting her. <laughs> Set Lolly Galvin. <laughs> Associate of Arts degree, Arts Humanities, Social Science, as well as the transfer degree in Psychology. She will be attending Sacramento State University and also majoring in Psychology. She would like to thank her friends and her family. <laughs> Ashley Barunda Ayala. <laughs> Associate of Arts degree, Arts Humanities, as well as Social Sciences. She will be uh, majoring in Biology at the University of California at Davis. 
She would like to thank our, her family and her close friends that helped her through this journey. Benjamin Atkins, <laughs> Associate of Arts degree, Arts Humanities. Uh, after graduation, we'll work with, um, we'll work with my uh, art and try to get my uh, illustrations pu published. Would like to thank the uh, parents, um, IDA and Brian Atkins, my brother, his brother, and all my grandparents, his grandparents, uh, his access counselor, Trina, and everyone else who helped him along the way. Marcella Janae Frankson. Child development teacher um, as well as the master teacher certificates. Uh, after graduation will be attending, will be obtaining a bachelor's and becoming a teacher for special needs. I uh, would like to thank um, the Promise Program, Access, EOPS, her counselors, friends, family, and most importantly, her children. You are, my, you are her motivation. She loves you. Infinity. <laughs> Brett Rule Davis. <laughs> Associate of Arts degree in Math and Science. He'll be transferring to the University of Nevada Wolfpack, majoring in kinesiology. We would like to thank his parents, friends, and the Mammoth Lakes Foundation. <laughs> Erica Lynch. <laughs> Associate of Arts degree, Social Science, as well as Arts Humanities. She will be transferring to a four-year four university. She would like to thank her friends, family, for their love and support. <laughs> Delaney Perpal. <laughs> Transfer degree and administration of justice, as well as the arts and humanities degree. Uh, she will be transferring to the University of Nevada Wolfpack. She would like to thank her friends, parents, and we've been here today without them. Thank you. She loves you. <laughs> Merton Morgan. <laughs> Transfer degree in administration of justice, as well as the liberal arts, social and, social and behavioral science degree. He will be transferring to California State University at Long Beach. Uh, he would like to thank his family, as well as the Mammoth Lakes Foundation for their support. <laughs> Kendall Spieler. <laughs> Associate of Arts degree, Arts Humanities, as well as Social Sciences. She will be attending the University of California at Irvine. She would like to thank her mom, dad, sister, professors, and friends. Donna Sesenia, <laughs> Associate of Arts degree in Arts Humanities as well as Social Sciences. After graduation, she will be attending the University of California at Santa Barbara. Uh, she would like to thank her friends and family. <laughs> Addison Alvarado, <laughs> Liberal Arts arts humanities as well as social sciences. She will be attending NYU, uh, the Tisch School of the Arts. I'd, she'd like to thank her family, friends, and the faculty who helped her succeed. <laughs> Natalie Partridge. So she has a science degree in social sciences as well as math and science. She will be attending Montana State University. 
She would like to thank her friends and family. Juliana Garcia. Child Development Associate Teacher. Uh, after graduation, she will continue with college until she becomes a teacher. Uh, she would like to thank her family as well as her friend Maria. Christopher Villanova. Degree in Administration of Justice as well as the Law Public Society degree. Um, uh, after graduation, he'll be transferring to a four-year university. He would like to thank his mom, uh, grandparents, and everyone who helped him along the way. would also like to thank the Mammoth Lakes Foundation for their help. <laughs> Amy Godinez. <laughs> Medical assisting, administrative, as well as clinical. After graduation, uh, Plans to work at the Mammoth um, Lakes Hospital. Would like to thank the Mammoth Lakes Foundation for their support, as well as also thank her friends and family. <laughs> Alexis Cruz. <laughs> One more time. Alexa Cruz. <laughs> Medical Assisting Certificate, Administrative and Clinical. After graduation, she will attend the university to become a physician's assistant. She would like to thank the Mammoth Lakes Foundation for all their support, as well as her friends and her family, and most importantly, her mom and dad. <clears throat> Stephen Brazier. <laughs> Associate of Arts degree in Math and Science. Uh, after graduation, Stephen will work for a year and then transfer to the University of Nevada Wolfpack. I'd like to thank his friends and his family. Stephanie Gomez Gonzalez. Associate of Arts degree, as well as the business uh, certificate of achievement in business, as well as the Associate of Science in business. After graduation, she plans to go into cosmetology school in Reno, Nevada. Uh, she would like to thank her boyfriend, family, friends for never doubting her and trusting her decision making and for all their support. Elizabeth Gonzalez Tapia. <laughs> Certificate in Child Development Associate Teacher. After graduation, she plans to attend the university to get a bachelor's degree. She would like to thank her family, friends, and boyfriend for all the love and support that they have given her. Paula Ramos, <laughs> Associate of Science degree in Math and Science as well as uh, the Social and Behavioral Science degree. After graduation, she plans to continue her education to get a bachelor's. Would like to thank her parents, friends, boyfriend and for their love and support, as well as the Mammoth Lakes Foundation and the EOPS for everything. Amber Fletcher. <laughs> uh, she'll be getting a transfer degree in the early childhood education. After graduation, plans to continue working at ICOE as a preschool teacher. I uh, would like to thank our family for their love, support, and patience, and the ICOE for their guidance and love. Daniela Delgado Ramirez. <laughs> Transfer degree in early childhood education as well as the arts uh, degree in social science and behavioral sciences. 
After graduation, she plans to transfer to Arizona State University and study human development. She would like to thank her friends, family, and especially her husband, uh, Jesus, for their unconditional love and support. <laughs> Aurora Santana. <laughs> Associate's degree in math and science, as well as arts humanities. After graduation, she plans to go into uh, diagnostic medical uh, sonography. I would like to thank her family, friends, and, for, and her amazing counselor for their support and for cheering her on along the way. <laughs> Maribel Alejandre. <laughs> Certificate Child Development Site Supervisor. After graduation, plans to transfer to San Diego State University, Aztecs, while continuing working as the director of the Husky Club. Uh, she would like to thank her family, friends, her daughter, for pushing her to accomplish her goals. <clears throat> Paula Guzman. Associate of Science degree in Human Services. After graduation, she plans to take a work, uh, year off to work and to uh, then apply to a Cal State. She would like to thank her, her mom, uh, as well as Trina Toby, her friend Viviana, uh, California Dream Act, and all of her former teachers. <laughs> Amber Forte Arnton. Associate of Arts degree in Social and Behavioral Sciences as well as Math and Science. After graduation, she plans to go off and get a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. She would like to thank her husband, family, friends, and co-workers for being so supportive and patient. <laughs> Hannah Frankson. So she had a science degree in human services as well as the human services worker certificate. After graduation, she plans to attend the other university in Nevada, Las Vegas. Rebels. Uh, she would like to thank her family for all their support. This is for you, Grandpa. Patrice Vea Fierro. Transfer degree in a business, administ uh, business administration. After uh, graduation, she plans to transfer to keep working towards a bachelor's. She would like to thank uh, the faculty and her family for all their support. <laughs> Gina Martinez. <laughs> Certificate Human Services. She would like to thank her mother, father, and Saracoso Community College. <laughs> Caitlin Cortez. <laughs> Certificate Medical Assisting Administrative. Uh, after graduation, she plans to continue with her education in billing and coding and future job in the medical field. She would like to thank the Owens Valley Career Development Center for helping her get started and her family for being so supportive through these last few years. Congratulations, graduates. Graduates of the class of 2023, please stand to be recognized. <laughs> On behalf of the Kern Community College District Administration and Board of Trustees, we confer the appropriate recognition
your work at Saracosa Community College. You may move the tassel on your mortarboard from the right to the left side, signifying your commencement. Please accept our congratulations and best wishes to all of you and your loved ones. Thank you for celebrating the significant milestone with our students. Will the Grand Marshal, Dr. Deanna Campbell, please begin the recession. 